Why do planes accelerate at full speed when landing on an aircraft carrier? According to common sense, shouldn't they fly at a slower speed? Because the length of the aircraft carrier deck is very limited, usually less than 300 meters, and the landing speed of carrier-based aircraft is often as high as 250 kilometers per hour or more. So in order to stop the aircraft in such a short time, it is necessary to rely on the arresting cable on the deck. When the tail hook of the aircraft hooks the arresting cable, the arresting device will forcibly stop the aircraft from the high-speed state within two seconds. But if the hook cable fails to hook successfully, if the aircraft is in a decelerating state at this time, it is very likely to rush directly into the sea. In order to deal with this situation, the pilot must accelerate at full speed at the moment of landing. Maintain the maximum engine thrust so that it can quickly take off after missing the hook cable, and the aircraft carrier is not parked there. It is also sailing at a speed of 20 to 30 knots. When the aircraft carrier moves forward, it is equivalent to artificially creating a headwind. It's like someone is helping the aircraft to pull the brakes in front to make it slow down faster. So the carrier-based aircraft must accelerate at full speed at this time to ensure that it has enough lift.